Update 1.19 offers the latest and greatest content Mojang can muster, but even then the base game leaves quite a bit to be desired. If you feel the same way, you've clicked on the right video. Here are 20 vanilla friendly forge and fabric mods to spice up your Minecraft gameplay. Friends and Foes is the first on our list. It's a mod that gives a second chance to most of the outvoted mobs from Minecraft mob votes. In total, there are six mobs, eight variants of beehives, eight variants of copper buttons, and four structures housing some of the mobs in this mod. There's also a beekeeper villager. How lovely. The mobs act and look exactly how Mojang envisioned them. The maulers hunt small mobs and store experience. And the Moo Bloom drops buttercups when sheared. Friends and Foes is by far one of the best vanilla friendly mods available. The Ambient Sounds 5 mod simply but effectively implements ambient environmental sounds to the world. Biomes have unique soundtracks. Here are a few examples. Forest biomes have birds chirping. And insects fill the atmosphere in the savanna. Caves and large bodies of water must be excited for the last season of Attack on Titan. I mean, just listen to that rumble. Putting that horrid reference aside, Ambient Sounds 5 is a great mod for every Minecraft Let's Play. Have you ever wanted more mob babies added to Minecraft? Well, Filza probably doesn't. But for the rest of us, let me introduce the More Babies mod. There are now 30 new baby variants of vanilla mobs. The most notable ones are the Ghast, Ravager, Iron Golem, Shulker, Elder Guardian, and the Wither. All the babies are almost identical to the parent counterparts when it comes to behavior and stats. But hey, everything is cuter when it's smaller, right? Speaking of things being cuter when decreased in size, the Bakui mod allows you to change an entity's size. Additionally, you can modify multiple entities at once change their width and or height, change their hitbox size and or reach distance. Health, attack speed, and other stats can also be tinkered. I decided to mess with the Witherstorm size, and well, here's the result. Oh my god! I, I made a Witherstorm pancake! God, I don't know why that's the first thing that came to mind, but it looks like a pancake! Wolves with Armor is next on our list, and it's a very simple mod. As the name implies, wolves can have armor, and there are five different pieces that are craftable and enchantable. Your dogs will be much harder to kill, but for your cats, eh, not so much. I believe we can all agree that vanilla advancement pop-ups are incredibly bland, and so I happily present to you advancement plaques. Advancements will now appear at the top of the screen with a small animation and soundtrack. And good news to you mod pack lovers, these plaques are compatible with modded advancements. Overall, the Advancement Plaques mod is a great way to visually and audibly spice up your advancement collecting. Minecraft has an impressive assortment of blocks to begin with, but the Blocks Plus mod somehow implements even more Minecraft themed blocks to keep your build streamlined. There are a plethora of blocks, block variants, and block sets. Pertaining to the block sets, there's bamboo, skulk, and as outrageous as it sounds, there's even a cactus block set. You can also expect to find things like different bookshelf and crafting table variants, unique vanilla themed doors, and also miscellaneous blocks like knitted wool. We have yet another cosmetic mod to introduce. It's called Visuality. This mod currently adds a small portion of visual effects for mobs and the environment. Hitting specific mobs will cause an effect. Skeletons will have bones come off them, chickens will have feathers, and villagers emeralds. Gold and diamond armor have a sparkle now, along with gold, diamond, and emerald ore. Lastly, but definitely not least, rain hitting water now has a nice ripple effect. Oh, and also with the help of mod menu, the mod settings can be modified rather thoroughly. The following mod is called Upgraded Netherite, and it's one of the girthier mods on this list. But it's simply, this mod is about crafting different types of ingots from netherite and applying them to armor and items. Each ingot is used to upgrade swords, bows slash crossbows, all vanilla tools except hose, shields and armor slash horse armor. Each ingot gives special attributes to whatever item you choose to upgrade. Here are a few quick examples. Golarite imbues luck and looting. Blazerite applies burning and auto smelting. And lastly, Witherite has Wither-based attributes. Well, obviously. 
Our next two mods are even bigger than upgraded netherite. They are better nether and better end. Better Nether drastically improves the nether by adding 20 unique biomes, 10 structures, 6 mobs, an absurd amount of new blocks, 2 armor sets, 3 new tool sets, and 7 consumables. Some biomes have special vegetation. For a few samples, the gravel desert has nether themed cacti, and the soul plane has black and purple colored plants to match the biome's aesthetic. The structures in the mod range from minuscule ones, like the altars, to massive ones like the nether city. As mentioned before, there is a copious amount of blocks, so much so they have their own page in the creative menu. Lastly, there is a Cincina site and Ruby Armor slash Tool set, along with the upgraded Cincina site tool set. Better End has the same premise as Better Nether, except that it overhauls the end, not the nether, if that wasn't obvious enough. The end now has 25 biomes, dozens of small structures, 6 mobs, an insane amount of blocks yet again, 4 armor sets, 3 tool sets, 2 new elytras, and 14 consumables. These biomes also feature distinctive vegetation that can be used in crafting recipes. Shadow walkers and dragon trees dwell within the shadow forest. And sulfur springs offer permanent damage to your lungs, but also houses a very important plant at the bottom of its springs. The only notable structure in the Better End mod is the Eternal Portal. This portal, once rebuilt and activated with Eternal Crystals, will open a portal back to the overworld. I'm calling Deja Vu because once again the blocks have their own creative menu. Ranked from worst to best, Thalasium, Terminite, and Ethereum are the armor sets. Now that we've got those gigantic mods out of the way, let me introduce you to Identity. This mod is basically the result of the Origins mod and the Morph mod having a baby. Well, kinda. You can disguise yourself and gain the attributes of the mobs you previously slain. The frog morph is my favorite. I mean, just look at those little feetsies go. <coughs> Disguising as certain mobs will help you blend in and thus avoiding a fight. And some mobs have an ability which you can trigger by pressing R. Moving on to a mod called Mob Scarecrows, which is a confusing name since the mod only has one scarecrow. But anyway, there are 16 craftable plushies along with that craftable scarecrow. These blocks mimic vanilla mobs physically and provide a basic incentive. Some attract mobs, some scare mobs away, and very few do both. Right clicking any plushie will reward you with a squeaky surprise. The Probably Chess mod is made by the same dev as Mob Scarecrows, and this one has way more content. Chests and pots will occupy almost every area of your world, and some of these chests will be man-eating mimics. All four pots, excluding the normal pot, have different spawning locations. When broken, these pots will drop an assortment of basic materials. In total, expect to come across nine different types of chests. Like the pots, these chests spawn in specific locations. For the last section, there are three locks and five keys. The locks go to their matching chests, and they can only be unlocked with their respective key. The suspicious key is used to turn a chest into a mimic, and the friendly key can tame mimics. Now you have a mimic friend that will join you on your blocky adventures. We've got another Nether Improvement mod. Say hello to Bygone Nether. Expect to see three new structures, a revamped nether fortress, 8 mobs, 17 blocks, 1 armor set, and 2 miscellaneous items. Each structure only spawns in one biome type, and the 8 new mobs are assigned to said structures. For example, the catacombs only spawn in soul sand valleys, and the wither skeleton knight, Orpor, wex, and wraither mobs can be found here. The nether fortress is looking exceptionally snazzy now with its makeover. Here are the noteworthy blocks, Blackstone, Warped Brick Variants, and Wither-themed blocks. The Vanilla Tweaks mod is next on our list, and as the name states, this mod tweaks a variety of content in Minecraft. A portion of the tweaks are as follows. Stairs can be used as chairs, edit already placed signs, drop seeds will auto-plant, creepers burn in daylight, those random tiny lava pockets in the nether have been removed, and there are several new enchantments, which aren't tweaks, but I thought I'd mention them anyway. Mod Menu once again grants the ability to modify almost everything in this mod. I reckon we can all agree that the vanilla portals are bland. Thankfully, the Immersive Portals mod is here to fix this eyesore. This basic mod renders all the dimensions 24-7, which produces a seamless transition between one to the other. 
If you plan on using this mod, do note that Optifine is incompatible. And actually, a ton of other mods are incompatible too. I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but I must inform you once again, Mod Menu can be used to modify this mod. Additionally add additions by adding additional additions mod. Are you confused? Yeah, me too. This mod introduces new changes to vanilla items, like spyglass crossbows, new trident recipe, haste potions brewability, and circling back to the spyglasses, they can be found in shipwrecks now. New items include the rose gold set, gilded netherite set, redstone items slash blocks, foods, and miscellaneous things like rope and watering cans. Additional additions is compatible and configurable with mod menu. Serene Seasons is a mod that implements a season cycle to your world. The environment will slowly change depending on what season is next, so for example here's early fall, and here's late fall. This area is unaffected because it's technically a river biome, by the way. The weather system is affected by what season it is. During spring, more rain will fall, and during summer, there will be more storms. There is a season sensor block for you redstone lovers, and for the rest of us, there is a calendar which tracks the progression of the seasons. The next mod is quite charming. It's called the Charm Mod. See what I did there? <laughs> this mod is similar to additional additions by adding dozens of new things with vanilla flair. There are new blocks and new block variants, new iron themed blocks, and unique blocks like kilns, lanterns, and redstone sand. New mobs which include oral squids, moo blooms, beekeeper villager, and lumberjack villager. And finally, here's a small list of extra features Charm has to offer. Improved looting in mansions and fortresses, enchantment books and a few other item types stack, friendly fire is disabled regarding your pets, mobs now have a slew of different texture variants, and much much more. Now that you've seen all the mods in this vanilla friendly mod list, it's time to play them. The description has links to everything. This includes the mod launchers, JI, and mod menu. Thank you for watching, drop a like on the video, and make sure to subscribe for more mod related content like this in the future. And as always Kermlets, stay snazzy.